punishment system within the division is structured to move combat supplies and other critical stores from the rear to units in the forward area. Replenishment is based upon a series of integrated supply and transportation activities directed at the maintenance of stock levels and equipment holdings throughout the division area. It involves periodic forecasts, tabulation of demands and deliveries to keep the division's one-day maintenance load and the unit's three days basic load as intact as possible. The system is supported by automated data processing to ensure a timely response to the needs of the troops in battle. Division replenishment activities are based upon focal points involving replenishment points, delivery points, commodity points, dumps, administrative areas and unit echelons. Replenishment points are core service command installations usually located just behind the division rear boundary. From these, the division service group transport draws its supplies. These installations are designed to provide immediate replenishment of combat supplies and a limited range of critical, fast-moving items. Normally, one RP is designated to support each division. Each holds three to four days of combat supplies. The two primary methods of replenishing units are through delivery points and commodity points, with units picking up supplies from loaded, second-line cargo-carrying vehicles. The DPs, or commodity points, are normally located in the division's forward area at a location convenient to the A echelons of the units being serviced. The number and location of these points is decided by the formation staff and depends on the extent to which units are dispersed and the state of the ongoing battle. Delivery points are essentially locations where second-line transport delivers combat supplies, other commodities, and general stores to unit first-line transport. They normally operate at night for a predetermined period of time on behalf of specifically designated units minimizing movement of second-line traffic in forward areas and regulating the workday for second-line support units. They offer certain benefits because they require the occupation of an area for only a minimum period of time and are normally used when there is a rear area security problem or when transportation resources are limited. DPs normally generate a considerable amount of daily radio traffic, making it easier for enemy direction finding of combat service support unit locations. Daytime DPs would only operate during periods of intense activity where resupply of combat elements is essential to the continuation of the battle. Commodity points are similar to delivery points, except that they serve a variety of units and handle only one commodity. They are open for varying periods of time, depending on the tactical situation, eliminating the requirement for most supplementary and emergency demands. Commodity points are operated and controlled in the same manner as delivery points. Commodity points minimize administrative vehicle concentrations in the forward area, reduce radio traffic, and provide a quicker response to unit needs on a 24-hour basis. They offer advantages when there is an adverse air situation and a considerable enemy electronic warfare threat. Conversely, they limit flexibility and are difficult to defend against even relatively small enemy ground attacks. To provide large quantities of ammunition, defense, and engineer stores, it may be necessary to conduct dumping programs in the forward area. 
These programs are normally conducted at division level or higher. Attack on, on the north. Dumps are located sufficiently far forward to permit pickup by unit first line transport resources and yet allow safe delivery by second and third line vehicles. The replenishment system encompasses the disc group service battalions operating from the brigade administrative area or the forward administrative area, receiving demands from the supported units, satisfying unit demands by direct delivery, and replenishing their second line stocks by drawing combat supplies from the RP and other commodities from the RP or the disc group supply battalion. Combat supplies include ammunition, petroleum products, rations, and when required, water. Ammunition includes small arms, anti-tank, tank, artillery, and light anti-aircraft ammunition, mines, explosives, and grenades. Stocks are maintained at levels determined by the staff, and replenishment of a unit's basic load is automatic. POL includes fuels, lubricants, hydraulic and insulating oils, temporary protectives, liquid coolant, de-icing and antifreeze compounds and additives. Stocks are maintained at predetermined levels and unit basic loads are replenished after a move and at the end of each day. Rations are handled in fresh, pack or emergency forms according to the tactical situation. Brigade units make their requirements for combat supplies known to their supporting service battalion supply and transport company, which delivers these either direct or via a DP. After completing a DP run, demands are passed from the transport organizations to the RP. Replacement stocks are picked up from the RP, and the fully laden vehicles return to their battalion locations. The disc group transport battalion similarly supports the division troops units. When division troops elements are deployed in a brigade area, the disc group functional battalions may continue to provide direct support or the appropriate service battalion may be augmented as necessary. In addition to combat supplies, other categories of stores and equipment handled by the replenishment system include repair parts, technical stores, general stores, clothing and accoutrements, amenities, airborne stores, engineers stores, defense stores, cryptographic stores, and vehicles. Controlled stores are categorized as items of stores and equipment subject to special controls because of their operational significance or limited availability. They include vehicles, weapons, major assemblies, and items in short supply, and require operations staff release authority. A limited range of controlled stores is held by the supply and service battalions. Unit demands for controlled stores are handled similarly to those for combat supplies, except that a request for release of such stores must be passed via the staff channels to the releasing headquarters. Demands are not satisfied by supply organizations until release authority is received from the G3 staff of the appropriate releasing headquarters. Operationally urgent demands for controlled stores are handled in the same manner except that delivery is affected by the fastest available means. Repair parts are technical stores with a special significance. Certain parts are often designated controlled stores and are handled as such. Units submit demands for repair parts to their supporting disc group service battalion S&T company, which provides the required items. The S&T company then demands on the disc group supply battalion for replenishment of its first and second level stocks and replacement items are issued. Demands which cannot be satisfied by the service battalions are passed to the supply battalion. If the demand still cannot be satisfied, the supply battalion passes it to the core service command, which arranges for the issue of the needed items to the disc group. Technical stores include all armament and technical equipment such as small arms. 
crew served weapons, radios, radar sets, and generators. The division holdings are limited to the provision of immediate replacements to units in emergencies. They are normally categorized as controlled stores. The supply of non-controlled technical stores is based on daily demands by units, which are consolidated at brigade and division headquarters and released according to requirement or availability. General stores include personnel equipment, camp stores and equipment, stationery, hand tools, handware, metals, and paints. Generally, these stores are less critical to an operation and are slower moving. The majority are held by the supply battalion. Replenishment demands from units are consolidated at the service battalion and passed onwards to the supply battalion. Where possible, demands are satisfied from existing stocks. Due to weight, bulk, and actual consumption patterns, a number of commodities are provided in bulk based on forecast usage rates. Items thus obtained are advised to the brigades and division troops with the supply battalion breaking down requirements for direct issues in unit lots. Amenities include items such as soap, mm -hmm. toothpaste, razor blades, and gratuitous items provided by national agencies, including recreational equipment, liquor, cigarettes, soft drink, candy, reading material, and movies. These are handled in the same manner as general stores. Entitlements and issue authority are coordinated by the division and brigade G1 staffs. Airborne stores are controlled technical stores, which, because of their nature and safety features, require special handling. Engineer stores are non-explosive materials, which are normally consumed in engineered tasks and left in place. They are generally bulky and expensive on transport. The Division Engineer Support Regiment fills division units' demands and receives and issues stores in accordance with priorities established by the operations staff. Defense stores are non-explosive materials used by all units in defense works. They are normally controlled stores, acquired by advanced staff planning and released in accordance with the tactical requirement. Medical material includes general stores and medical supplies. General stores, such as litters and blankets, are provided in the same manner as any other general stores items. Medical supplies, such as drugs, blood, dressings, and surgical instruments are obtained through medical channels. Dental stores and equipment are procured from the general stores system, while medical supplies used in dental activities are obtained through the medical channels. Cryptographic stores include low-level codes, keys, and key lists, equipment, and repair parts. All are distributed and accounted for by signal personnel outside the normal supply system. The vehicle category of equipment includes all types of combat and non-combat vehicles, trailers, over-snow vehicles, self-propelled guns, and technical equipment. There are no spare holdings of vehicles in the division, and vehicle replacement action is only taken if a vehicle is destroyed or is backloaded for level three repairs. When a vehicle is removed from unit charge, the unit demands a replacement through their brigade headquarters. The demand is passed to division headquarters, which consolidates the demands and passes them on to Corps. Corps releases vehicles from the crewed vehicle replacement battalion or the vehicle supply battalion to the RP or to a designated RV where they are directed forward to the unit location. Collectible salvage is eventually returned to an RP where it is collected by Corps transport and moved rearwards. The replenishment system is the artery through which pumps the lifeblood of the division. The system comprises various activities by different level service support organizations. The replenishment system is flexible and resists interruptions in the division's line of communications. As such, it ensures the division's sustenance and operational readiness.